everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to revisit an old idea that I did a couple years ago where I looked back at some of the movies that I liked and I look at what the critics think, what the audience thought, and what the IMDb rating is. Some of them were extremely low and I was really surprised. I will put that video up here, but I thought I would revisit it and do some other movies that I liked that I was shocked that had low ratings. I have them on my phone. And the first one I want to talk about, this one's not too terrible, but I think it could have been better. I think it deserved better from the critics. It's I Am Sam. Uh, this movie has Sean Penn and Michelle Pfeiffer in it and a very young Dakota Fanning. And basically Sean Penn plays a man who is mentally challenged. The movie opens up and it's like, it's really fast at, at the beginning, you're like, what's going on? But basically, he had gotten a woman pregnant and the, the movie opens up with the lady giving birth and then giving him the baby and then just leaving. And you're like, what the hell? What was all that about? He is trying to raise this baby by himself. And then the bulk of the movie takes place uh, when his daughter grows up and she's about six years old. And, and social services is trying to take her away from him because they don't feel that he is capable of taking care of her. Michelle Pfeiffer plays a lawyer who ends up taking his case pro bono, which is completely unlike her character. She ends up t uh, saying the word pro bono in front of some of her colleagues and they're like, are you, are you serious? Because she doesn't do that. But it's a very lovely story and it has a lot of Beatles references. Um, like he names his daughter Lucy Diamond after the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And it's really heartwarming and there's some parts in it that make me really emotional and sad and just want to cry and hug him. But for Sean Penn, you know, someone who played like, you know, Spicoli and like these tough guys, like, like in Mystic River, to see this side of him was very refreshing and I actually really enjoyed his performance. So the critics on Rotten Tomatoes gave it 35%, which is, Bull honky. But the audience, the audience came and saved it and gave it an 87. And then the stars on IMDb is 7.7. .7. So there's hope for you viewers and audience people who pay attention and rate movies. The next one I'm going to talk about, this one was really disappointing, guys. I love Mariah Carey. I think Butterfly is one of the best albums in the world. It's my favorite of hers. Uh, Charm Bracelet is a close second. In 2001, we all know that she embarked on this epic journey to becoming an actress, and she did a movie called Glitter. And it was either one of those movies that you loved it or you hated it. There was no real in-between. I loved it. I have friends that love it, but I'm disappointed in the audience on this one. I didn't expect much from the critics. The critics gave it 7%. Which again is stupid. Because it's a good movie. It's a good story. Sure the acting is a little cheesy and and whatever, but the story is good. Okay. Audience, you had your chance here. The audience gave it 48%. Not your best. Then IMDB. I was like, okay, well, these are the Rotten Tomatoes people. IMDB is a different breed of people. Maybe the IMDB Raider people will be nice and give it at least five stars. At least five, but no. It's at a 2.2, which is, uh, I can't even. <clears throat> I'm so disappointed. Glitter is a good movie, guys. Y'all just need to give it a chance. It's very heartwarming. It has a very nice ending too. And there's a love story. It has everything. God. This one is one of my favorite movies of all time. I have the soundtrack. I jammed out to it all the time. I still do sometimes. It's in my iTunes. I can't find an actual copy of it anywhere. But the new guy. I don't know why I love this movie so much, but I do. It was one of the first movies I remember seeing Zoe Deschanel in. Of course, Lyle Lovett's in it. He plays uh, the main character's father, and he pl he's kind of goofy in it. The new guy is about this kid named Dizzy Gillespie. He's kind of a dork. He's into funk music. He's in a funk band and he gets tormented at school. He's bullied all the time. He has a really unfortunate accident toward the beginning of the movie and he does everything in his power to get kicked out of this school. So he gets kicked out. He gets sent to juvie. Well, he ac they actually like send him like to jail jail instead of juvie, which I thought was a little 
weird of a plot hole, but whatever. Anyway, his uh, cellmate befriends him, which is played by Eddie Griffith, teaches him how to be tough, changes his identity to Gil. Anyway, he ends up going to this other school and he reinvents himself. I'm not going to give too much away, but it's a really good movie. Y'all should check it out. Critics again, not surprised y'all didn't like this one. Critics gave it 7%. Audience redeemed themselves just a hair for giving Glitter less than 50 by giving the new guy 54%. And then the IMDb rating is 5.9 stars. So it's almost 6. And the last movie that I'm going to talk about in this video is Down to Earth. It's a Chris Rock movie and Chris Rock plays a comedian who isn't that funny and he ends up dying. I think he gets hit by a bus. It's been a while since I've seen it. Anyway, he ends up getting hit by a bus or something and he's, you know, on the verge of death and he's about to get taken into heaven and he, I can't remember if he asks for a second chance or he wants to go back because he had met a, he, he had met a girl and he was wanting to try to pursue that, which is uh, Regina King, and I love her. I think she's fantastic. And they're like, well, we can't put you back in your normal body because that body's, you know, it's not working anymore. He, like, attaches his soul, this is very Full Metal Alchemist, sends his soul into the body of a middle-aged millionaire. And I think the, like, because he was dying too, like they're dying around at the same time and you only have so much time and it's the first body that's available and so that's the one that he gets sent into. And apparently this guy, when he was, you know, when it was him, he wasn't a very nice person. And then Chris Rock's character embodies him and completely changes. And then the movie is, is him being him but in someone else's box. It's it's a really it's really weird to explain but it's a really good movie. I saw in the reviews that it's kind of like uh, Heaven Can Wait. I think that's the movie with Reese Witherspoon but I never saw that movie. Maybe I should. But I really liked it. I thought it was cute and and the critics gave it 20% which is a little higher than the last two which were both 7%. The audience the audience gave it 40%. I guess they're comparing it to these other movies as well, but I try to do my best whenever I'm watching a movie. I try to not compare it to movies that it's similar to, but sometimes it's real hard, especially when movies come out that are like the same plot and it's the same year. Like, what was it, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher both did movies that were about, you know, sleeping with your friend and one of them was No Strings Attached and the other one was Friends with Benefits. It was basically the same movie. Apparently I didn't watch it but that's what she said in an interview. Critics gave Down to Earth 20%. The audience gave it 40% and its IMDb rating is 5.5 stars. I guess it's fair. Not that many movies on IMDb have a high high rating. I think some people put high ratings on movies because it's the popular thing to do which is dumb. Just, if you like it, rate it high. If you didn't like it, rate it low. Those are the movies that I wanted to talk about in this video. Today we discussed class. I am Sam, Glitter, The New Guy, and Down to Earth. I'm gonna go, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!